Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today I'm smoking the Davidoff Oscurio. So I think most people, when you say Davidoff, automatically their mind goes towards mild cigars, right? Some of the classics, the Special R, the Double R, Anniversario, maybe Grand Cru, which are all excellent blends, but they're mild. That's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about the Davidoff Oscurio. And you're probably thinking, what is the name? What is that Oscurio? What does it mean? It's kind of a cool concept. It's basically based upon the makeup of the blend itself. So the wrapper is actually Ecuadorian Oscuro wrapper, Brazilian binder, and Brazilian and Dominican filler. And the name is a combo word based upon Oscuro and the famed city in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, hence Oscurio. Beautiful dark wrapper, a big disparity between this and the classic Davidoff that's mild. This cigar is definitely more medium to full body. As a matter of fact, the first note that jumps out of me of this Oscurio is dark roast coffee with oak and cayenne pepper. So you're talking about a world away from the special R and double R, a blend that stands on its own, but it also has that iconic Davidoff name and of course, exquisite construction. So, you know, it's funny like how, you know, as a cigar enthusiast, which I am at heart, how you go on kicks. I'm sure you can relate to this. I go on kicks when it comes to different tobaccos. The tobacco that I've been experimenting with a lot recently is Brazilian tobacco, right? Which is used heavily in this blend. And it's really interesting because Brazilian tobacco as an accent tobacco has a very unique profile. And to me, it has kind of a spicy quality, so that's that cayenne that I'm tasting in the cigar. But it's also rounded out by dark chocolate notes too. So it has that inherent little bit of sweetness and spice at the same time. To me, when I think of Brazilian tobacco, I think of both of those factors working in harmony. There's a sweet note to it that rounds out the tobacco, but there's also this driving kind of cayenne peppery note to it. And then when you talk about complementing the Brazilian and Dominican tobaccos on the inside, you're talking about an Ecuadorian wrapper. And what I get from Ecuadorian tobacco is a kind of a leather profile. I get some oakiness. So, you know, you're talking about a lot of flavors that are melding together. But yeah, right now at this time, I'm really starting to really experiment a lot with Brazilian tobacco and how it challenges my palate. Because I really like what it brings to the table. It's very different from tobacco from say Mexico, broadleaf tobacco, whether it's used in a wrapper, which is not on this cigar, or a binder or filler. Brazilian tobacco definitely has a very unique flavor and it's very pleasing and it's very different from what you're probably used to smoking. You know, and the cigar definitely develops as you smoke it. Those notes of dark roast coffee and chocolate really sing now. I mean, they're really prominent. I still get a little bit of that cayenne, but it has definitely rounded out a little bit more. I definitely get that oakiness of it too. But I love the fact that this, this is the Robusto Tubo, by the way. It comes in a beautiful black tube. So I've, we always talk about how tubos are excellent presentation. They preserve the cigars well. You don't have to worry about getting damaged. And if you're gonna present someone with a gift, a tubo makes an excellent choice, right? But this size, this Robusto, it really has a nice, intense profile when you get even a third into the cigar. It's already started to develop. And that's hard to do with a short cigar. You know, we talk about times when the Churchill or Double Corona, it has time to develop, which obviously if it's a longer cigar, it does. But to make a short cigar like this, that actually changes quickly in a pleasant way, is not easy to do. So, you know, I know I originally said the cigar is medium to full body, but as I get into it and the cigar develops, I think I'm changing my opinion. I think it's definitely more on the fuller side of medium to full. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of people would say it's full, especially if you're used to the original Davidoff portfolio. You know, I think you have these expectations in your head that it's gonna be a good morning cigar. This cigar has a lot to offer when it comes to really deep, rich flavors. It has spice, dark chocolate, coffee, oak notes, but they're very pronounced flavors. So I, I think I'm gonna change my position on the cigar from medium to full to the fuller side of medium to full or even full body. But that's the cool thing about when you're smoking cigars, because you know you have this perception in your head of what this blend is gonna be like, right? And then that changes as you're smoking it, which is one of the coolest things about being a cigar enthusiast. This cigar is excellent. So I wanna thank you for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. But before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you here next time.